Right. We'll begin with a regional geographic map of Greece. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the, the location of Greece. For those that aren't, uh, oops, sorry, the, uh, Greece is in the central part, as you can see uh, here. It is bordered by Albania, Macedonia, and Bulgaria, and on the eastern side by Turkey. Uh, the territories, of course, are the mainland, which includes Peloponnesus, the, the island of Crete, and the island of Cyprus. The principal seas and oceans that uh, bound the coast are the Adriatic, the Ionian, the Aegean, and of course, the Mediterranean. What will be covered in this talk are the ge geological history of West and Western and Southern Greece, the generalized stratigraphy of Greece, the source rocks, reservoir rocks, seals, and trapping, the review of the hydrocarbon exploration production of Western Greece spaces, Ionian, Gulf of Patras, Katakoron, Grevena Basin, main tertiary basins of Greece, Epanomi, Thassos, and the Thrace basins. And then I'll go over some examples and case studies. Uh, an important part would be the evolution of petroleum potential in the Ionian Basin from Triassic to Late Cretaceous, and a discussion of Crete and Cyprus. Oops, oh, I pushed off button, I'm sorry. This is new. Impact of discoveries in Italy, Albania, Egypt, and Israel on neighboring Greek territories. We'll look at some analogs and then summary. Okay, the geological uh, history and tectonics of Greece will be covered. Firstly, the main event, tectonic event, which forged the development of Greece, Greece's geology, uh, the African movement of the and collision of the African plate with the Eurasian plate. The convergence uh, of these plates occurred, occurred in the post Cretaceous. The Greece and part of Alpine uh, Mediterranean or Aegean belts, the Dinorites, the Alvanites, and the Hellenites uh, were formed at that time. Hellenites uh, north, north, west to south, south, east, trending. Uh, geotectonic zones, part of the thrust belt, that comprises part of the thrust belt system of Western Greece. Basin development began uh, after the large deposit Triassic evaporates and platform carbonates. Uh, critical word here is evaporates because as explorations we know that one of the, one of the most important things that we need in making a good plate is the quality of the seal. And this is a principal factor in the, in the geology of Greece. This leads on to the general stratigraphic column, very general stratigraphic column of Greece. This gives the geological time on the left, the formation, and whether it's source, rock, or seal, as you see. Uh, the column goes from uh, the lower Triassic to Pliopleistocene. There are three major unconformities that you'll see throughout the slides. The one at the top here the middle one, and the lower one. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. The second 
feature of a uh, well, the first feature of a, of a plane is the uh, incidence and type of source rocks. What this table shows is the a list of the geotectonic zone, the area, the type of source, the age, and the oil window in depth in meters. In meters. The stars represent some of the uh, principal uh, areas, uh, beginning with Mozara, the top, Delvinaki, yeah. Patra, uh, sorry, Paxi Island, Carcolon, and Filiatra. You can see that uh, the first one, Potsara, is the Posidonia beds, which are particularly important, and they are the uh, Posidonia shales, which source a lot of, a large part of the, of the Greek uh, plates. The source rocks are also it seems in Western Greece as shown here. Uh, the slide on the right is an example of the Posidonia shales. Here. They are a semi-regional source rock. The formation characteristics are about porosity of 5%. A TOC that varies very widely from 2 to 20 percent by weight. That's what this line here is, from 2 to 20 percent. And some of the other more interesting oil seeps and uh, that you see throughout Greece. Reservoir rocks of Western and Eastern Greece are shown here. The one at the top, the left, is a pelagic limestone impregnated with oil which migrated along the fault plate from the deeper part of the, of the syncline, water syncline that I mentioned earlier. That's sourced by the Posidonia uh, shelvings. Uh, <coughs> okay, here is a uh, Upper Cretaceous limestone, expected to be the primary reservoir rock in Western Greece. What you see is detrimental material delivered from the adjacent uh, Gavrovo platform. Uh, this one on the bottom simply shows a folded Eocene limestone, and uh, what happens here is the folding and uh, creates a, a large fracture system. By the way, these, uh, these examples are taken from this area here. Top seal development and this particular map shows the deposition of the Mycenaean evaporites and what, uh, what is most oops, sorry what is most interesting is this area for us because it covers maybe the, the Greek area. Um, essentially what we see here is the red the red are the halides and the the purple uh, a mixture of, uh, well, sorry, the, the purple is a gypsum deposits. Um, so Western Greece is made up of Legion shells and flesh, Myosin, Myosin for Triassic operates. The Eastern Greece largely is shale. Tectonic mapping of West and Mycenaean evaporites, tectonic stratigraphic. Uh, trapping in the east. Let's look now at the exploration history of hydrocarbon potential in Greece. What we see here is a map 
showing where oil fields, gas fields, oil shows and gas shows and oil seeps have been discovered in the past. And there's a whole bunch of them, of course, and we'll look at quite a few of them. Uh, it's interesting to see that there seems to be a somewhat interesting feature here that all these are located on this perimeter across the top and down the Ionian coast and more recently along the uh, Southern Creek offshore and uh, Cyprus, which is going, seems to be going to become very, very interesting, is slightly off the map to the east, uh, close to the, the Turkish border. We'll go through a number of these. The only known drilling and seismic acquisition activity is given here in earlier times. Uh, what we have here is a history of exploration, drilling, and uh, to some degree, some discoveries, and a little history of some of the seismic uh, that's been acquired in, in the past. So the numbers represent the location of those wells and their result. Uh, you, can, you can locate those, uh, the, the geom sorry, the location. Oops. Number one is the, is the Paxi Island, which is south of Crete. Number two is the uh, Patria, of course, Gulf. This is Patria here. Number three is the uh, uh, South Ionian. And number four is the major oil field discovery that was made in about 1981. And number five is the island of Sakynthos, which. Uh, which had uh, quite a lot of activity. Here is the seismic acquisition activity from the year, from the early uh, 60s to the year 2000, and approximately 22,000 kilometers of shock, and the the type, the source, and the fold are given in these columns. And more recently, which is not indicated here, there's been some 3D seismic acquired uh, in specific areas. Let's begin first with the offshore kind of colon oil field discovery. Uh, this is uh, <coughs> discovered, as I said, in the 1980s. The field is around, here's got a pull here, it's, uh, its location is about three, three and a half kilometers off the Catapulon Peninsula. Uh, it is uh, in fairly, well, two to three hundred feet of water. Production is from the Eocene. Cretaceous limestone at about at between 2300 and 2500 meters. Uh, the Catalan Colon oil discovery is an upper Cretaceous to Paleocene, Eocene Carbonate Reservoir sealed by uh, plyo ternary shells. Here is a montage of, of uh, production test data and facts about Catapolon. We, first of all, let me give you some basic information here. The, the field, as I said, was in, uh, discovered in 81. Uh, here, the discovery has been proved by three wells. Here they are here. 
different production performance of Ficore uh, with W1K A get, uh, flow from two layers in, in the gas cap with flow rates of 11 million uh, scuffs of cubic feet of gas from each zone and WK2 flooded a, a very appreciable amount, sizable amount of oil uh, from 100 to 1400 barrels a day for each zone. The gas so I was reached in that portion. Here we see the, another montage showing the structure on the top left. And this structure appears to be structure appears to be inverted or re uh, reversed ground block blocks. The detachment is probably related to Triassic evaporites, which may have moved along the main ground and boundary fault. So the, the structure is totally inverted. Um, on, on, the, on the right side, we see the trajectories, or rather the locations where oil and gas were produced. With this particular find, in a GM, consortium of energy, Traja awarded the Caracolum lease in 2014. Uh, $50 million FDP submitted in 14 in the spring of 2016 will target 11 million barrels recoverable and uh, from a total of 35 to 40 million barrels stoked. The plan is to employ uh, long reach FD, long reach horizontal drilling from an onshore location. The other example that I have is the Northwest Pelopodesis. The star on the right indicates the location. This particular example, or the proposed well test, uh, will test uh, eroded. This well test here will test eroded thrust sheet fronting the road thrust sheet fronting delta range system. This is uh, another area of the Ionian uh, coast which is which has had extensive drilling. Uh, the, the name Aito Lo Kananya Basin is actually the fusion of two uh, two counties, Aito Lo and Kananya. Kananya. These are ancient uh, words representing, as I heard, representing armies. The uh, this. I'm told, I'm told the basin in Adal is analogous to Albania and Croatia basins that are currently being explored. It's interesting that eight wells have been drilled in the 1960. BP was involved in targeted uh, Triassic evaporite strata that tested small quantities of 37 degree oil. Uh, at about uh, 4,000 meters. So, Triton drilled more recently. Two shallow commitment wells that targeted the, the TD of about 1,500 meters, which failed to test viable prospects. It's pretty obvious that, that maybe perhaps additional exploration potential Additional exploration is associated with the Ionian zone carbon thrust and more drilling perhaps is required. Well, this, this map 
or rather this cross section here, is particularly interesting in that it, it proposes, especially the diagram at the bottom, a, a sub-thrust, sub-evaporate plane. And what we have here is a sub-thrust hydrogen plane capped by evaporates. If this is true, that could be a tremendous play, you know. The next location is the Grevena, exploratory potential on FTP. Grevena is shown by the star and the shaded ellipse shaded uh, ellipsoid. The interesting thing about this one is that the basin is slated to, for opening of all gas blocks in, two, in 2019. Uh, I mean, sir, they, that particular location is close to the trans adriatic pipeline. Okay. Uh, the main entity which is in charge of leasing and contracts and preparation of lease packages, which is the Hellenic Resources Management Company, is currently compiling data packages for Grevena and central regions. You may have met the, the head of that and you did a tour of Houston not long ago. His name is Yamis. I see us and he went around and talked to quite a few companies. So they're looking to, to get going on this, this. And this is probably the first one that will be offered. The Grevna seismic section in Isopac is shown here. Essentially, uh, what we see are uh, two structures, two well, rather, yeah, there are two structures here. By the way, this is a this is a uh, isopack, the thickness of the structure, uh, and it is interpreted as an inverted structure, as seen by the seismic lines. And an inverted great brother that possibly contains early Jurassic hydrocarbon source. Quite interesting. But uh, we'll get a chance to look at that if you're interested down the road. The example I show here is the Epamoni field up in the northern part of Greece. Uh, by the way, I'm sure you recognize here that this is the northern border of Greece and this is way up north, next to, close to Thessalonica. The Epamoni field is estimated to, at this time, to have reserves of 14 BCF. Here's a... Uh, section of the Epaoni field and it is interpreted to be an unconformity sub-crop trap. <clears throat> the field was discovered in 88-89, as I mentioned earlier, they are the reserves. And of course, coming to example six, which is the Prinos Epsilon and South Carolina fields. So those who are familiar with the history of production of petroleum in, uh, in Greece, remember that Prinos was the first, the first oil field which produced oil in Greece, dating back to 1970s. It's still, of course, producing and doing very well. Uh, here are the Prinos field statistics. Uh, 290 million barrels of oil reserves. Epsilon field is 30 million, and South Kavala is 2.6 BCG. 
Prinos was first discovered, then Epsilon, and then South Kavala. The, on the left we see the, the structure of Prinos, to the right we see the cross section. It is a turbidity bison sandstone, bison sandstone, about 100 meters thick. Uh, porosity is 12 to 22. Pretty good net to gross. Average, average permeability is 440 millidarsis. And oil is medium gravity, 28. Uh, they've had a very successful drilling, in, uh, sorry, successful infill drilling campaign. Uh, Untapped fault compartments identified on 3D. This is more recently what 3D seismic has, has shown. As I mentioned earlier, all that was all that had available most of the time was 2D. So 3D is going to be a big uh, proving uh, tool. As I said earlier, recent wells penetrates are the largest they play with uh, with high risk of pressures. And again, the Epsilon field and the Prinos Northeast field is targeted in this new development. Well, here's a close-up of the Prinos Epsilon South Kabbalah fields. Um, basically, it shows the more accurate location of each field and some of the the lithology. Now going on to Cyprus, uh, Israel and Egyptian gas fields. The offshore exploration of Greece, was, as we know, was dormant in the 1990s. New side, the new seismic and industry renewed interest in carbon in place such as the recent Zor field and Leviathan and Aphrodite discoveries in the Mediterranean attracted major operators. As you know, the, the uh, Zor field, which is a giant, is estimated to have reserves of, uh, sorry, that should be 30, 30 TCF, what's on, the, on, the, on what's on the drawing is incorrect. It's a 30 TCF field and it's valued at over $100 billion. The section at the bottom shows the seismic line in red, drawn on the map, and it goes from Aphrodite, which is in Greek or Cypriot waters, into uh, Leviathan, Tamar, and Dalit, which are in, are in Israeli waters. The seismic section, uh, well, you can see them. Well, I, I don't know if it's important, but you can see the, the uh, reserve estimates are increasing to Leviathan and then falling off in Dalit. Uh, Aphrodite, as I mentioned, belongs to Cyprus, and the rest belongs to Israel. Okay, let's look at this montage in a little bit more detail of Zor. Zor, of course, is a new world cabinet in the Levantine Basin of Eastern Mediterranean. The Basically, the geologic model is shown here on the right. We have a seal of Mycenaean evaporites, and the reservoir itself is Miocene carbonate carbonates at the bottom. Uh, well, we talked about that. Pooled in a subsol paleogeomorphic tract. 
main gas producing units of the Miocene Atoll carbonates cat by the sea and salt. So it's a, it's a pretty big structure. It's a very significant dis discovery uh, on a worldwide scale, probably one of the largest. I don't know if it is the largest, but probably one of the largest. Well, the thing is, uh, these, uh, well, let's talk about this one first. This particular one talks about uh, the Israeli and Egyptian fields and knows the proximity to Aphrodite, uh, which is in Cyprus, and, and uh, uh, the energy in uh, the leaseholders, the courage and tannin and courage and is in 1,600 meters of water. The offshore creek and uh, Mesara Basin is receiving a lot of attention today. In fact, uh, uh, well, South Creek is in the frontier area with complete lateral succession complete lateral succession uh, of ocean arc boundaries uh, from, from the Mediterranean ridge to the Hellenic trench and fold. So you see this succession. So we have the middle uh, ridge Inner, sorry, inner, the outer, and there's an abyssal, abyssal sink line here. So, Mesozoic uh, to Pliocene sediments and recent uh, sediments, including Mycenaean evaporites, found directly south of Greece, meets it. There could be some relationship uh, in, in uh, Creek. Mud volcanoes and gas emissions and, and geochemistry indicate active thermogenic systems with potential hydrocarbon accumulation. By the way, that little diagram at the bottom shows the section north to south. So, uh, this is most has stirred a lot of people's attention. And moving on to that hit. Next slide. Uh, I don't want to go too much into this because I don't have exact information. Uh, it says blocks to be licensed in Offshore Creek, Mr. Basin, announced in August 2017. Uh, we know for a fact, and some of you may know better than me, that Total, Exxon have obtained licenses to some blocks and currently uh, in an evaluation phase. So there's tremendous interest. Eddie is also involved further southwest. Well, that's about it uh, that I have to say. Uh, the summary conclusions are the Where am I? Close to that Sorry. <coughs> Definitely has exploration and production potential for hydrocarbons. There are proven uh, petroleum systems in the alpine, post-alpine basins of Western Greece, also in Molassic and post-alpine tertiary basins of eastern Greece where source rocks, reservoir cap rocks, traps and proper geological migration time all coexist. Active seeds are known since antiquity, uh, which I showed some examples, both western and eastern Greece, prove the existence of active hydrocarbon systems 
commercial exploitation of the hydrothermal accumulations in the Thracian basin at the top east corner that I showed you, and analogous systems to Greece, such as in Italy, Albania, Croatia, as well as discovery in eastern Thrace in Turkey, all advocate high hydrocarbon potential of similar sedimentary basins in Greece. With that, um, I finish.